Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Chris Fletcher. So in today's video, we're going to be creating a profile picture in 2022. How your profile picture should look like, or you want to create something unique in 2022. So in this particular video, we're going to be exploring how you can create your profile picture, the kind of tips and tricks that I use, and how you can also apply it. Without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So, I'm using a 1080 by 1080 pixel size, a square sized format of my project file. So, I'm going to import a PNG image so that I can have a clean uh, work. So, I'm going to import this image. You can use your own image, but I got this image from FreePeak. It's been, it's been long, but I'll just use it as a sample. Now, this is the image in PNG. Now, he's wearing blue. Let's see, for example, he's a personal brand and he wants to start creating tips on businesses and stuff like that. Now, we can begin to like change colors of the background and add a lot of things that make it look like a real picture. Now, first thing to do is to, I don't really, I'm, I'm enjoying the blue color on the image. So what I'll do is I'll just turn off our, make his face a bit saturated and turn into black and white and then leave his image uh, leave the existing color on his clothes so now go to your adjustment layer and click on black and white and then right click and then create clipping mask so that your black and white effects will only retain on the image now close this properties panel click on your mask and then press ctrl i so when you press Ctrl I, it automatically reverts the effect. So now, to come to your color here, you will notice that it is in black and white. So switch to white by pressing this arrow here. So then go to your brush and then paint. So if you paint, you just reduce your brush and then paint the areas that has the skin. So this is okay, and then this hand. Reduce your brush size and then paint. Yeah, I think this is okay. So now we've desaturated his face so that whenever we're adding our effect, it will uh, to make sense. So what I do is I just highlight the image and the uh, uh, adjustment layer, and then convert it to smart objects. So after converting smart object, I go to filter, go to camera raw filter and add some texture to the image so that it look very clean so now go to basic go to texture increase the texture yeah this is okay and then increase the clarity so to the one you're comfortable with so and then go to detail and then click on sharpening increase the sharpening to about 29 percent then click ok so now as you can see there's a huge difference if you click on this you see a huge difference so now i like it like this because it's it's looking real now let's add a brighter color at the background what i'll do is i'll just switch the color to something like this yes and then create a new layer under him and then go to your paint bucket tool and then click so now here we have this then name your layer to fill and then convert it to smart object now i want to also add texture at the back or this um, layer also so i'm going to go to my filter and then go to noise go to add noise set your noise amount to 12 and then click ok now let's add some shadows from the image we could tell that the light is coming from the right hand side from I'm coming let me write them draw it out so from the right hand side so you can tell that the light is coming like this so what we'll do is we'll create a shadow around this area so that it will look real so let's delete this and 
uh, then close this and then double click on this image to open the blending options then click on drop shadow set the drop shadow angle to 37 percent and then increase the distance then increase the spread the size of the um shadow so that it look more real reduce the opacity a bit so it doesn't look too obvious and then reduce the spread so yeah make sure your your shadow looks like okay is is very clean to the eyes and it's not too shouty in the background so click ok then create a new layer then right click and create a clipping mask click on your color and pick this black color then click ok then go to your brush increase your brush size because we want to add shadow to his face and his body so paint around this area like this and then reduce the opacity to about something like this yeah i think 43 percent is okay so name it shadow and then yeah so now i can choose to add some fun things at the background to make it look real so what i would also do is to just uh, go to I have, I have some resources here let's say i want to add um let's say this this flower and then add it press enter bring it under the picture and then bring it here like this so this is actually very nice i love it so this is the first um concept that you can use for your work also you can also add overlays press ctrl j to duplicate this flower and then bring it to the top then bring this down then to rotate it around so that it will give you the one the area you want to show put it down like this maybe you can just blow this and go to filter go to blow go to gaussian blow then reduce the gaussian blow to about um to the one that makes you feel like you're comfortable with click ok and then yeah this is a good profile picture and you can use this for your social media handle if you don't know how to position yourself as a graphic designer or as a designer you want to start putting on your content on instagram but you don't know where to start i created an ebook called design you it's a personal branding for designers to show you how you can position yourself how you can start selling your services to your audience and start making money if you want to purchase it, it's just $8. Click the link under this video to purchase it. All your, your profiles on, on the internet. So this is the first step. This is the first style. So let's create another style. So still the same square size. So this one, I'm going to be using another type of style. So I'm going to pick the same stock image again so i'm going to use this one so this is already in png then reduce it like this press enter and then let's add some background for this one i'm going to be using the exact color on this image or maybe let's just switch colors so i'm going to go to like um pink or purple something like this is nice then go to underneath the image and then create a new layer and then go to your paint bucket and then click so now this particular one is a different type the light is coming from the other side which i'm coming let me show you from this side and this side so you have to understand where your shadow will be but if you notice here there's a shadow here around this side so let's add some some effects to use first instance is to convert this fill layer to a smart object so we can add texture same thing i'm going to add a noise set a noise amount to 12 and then press enter then go to the image double click and go to drop shadow so because of the same drop shadow effect that i use on that one to keep the same thing here and of course this is amazing so it's okay and click okay now what 
you can do is to add a shape at the back of the image to make it pop out a lighter color shape for example this color we used for this one we can use it at the background so i'm going to pick a an ellipse tool which is circle and then hold shift and drag press enter as you can see this is nice for a profile picture and this is what everybody tends to use so this is how they create it so you just simple add the shape and then maybe you can also add some other stuff you can add text let's let's try out the text so let's see uh um his name is let's let's use uh let's see z let's see a letter z and then bring it down like this wow this is actually amazing so yeah so this is how you can actually create uh, profile images of yourself if you don't have time to go to the studio you can take a picture of yourself and then um cut it out and then do something like this or something like this it's just a way of like exploring your skills and putting yourself professionally if you want to get the project files for this stuff click the link under the video to get them make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll catch you guys in the very next one thank you so much for watching and have a nice day